attendees to join. There they are. Hello, everyone. We'll get started in just a moment. Wait for everyone to come on in. All righty, I have 10 a.m. on my end. We're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you all for joining us on this beautiful Friday morning. Um, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Natalie Layton, and I am the Vice President of Membership for the Long Beach Area Chamber. Thank you again for joining us today to learn about the Chamber's MET partnership with Bryson. We're excited to bring you to bring this new member benefit to our membership, and today we'll be reviewing what the MEP is and how you can utilize it for your own business. Before I introduce Trent Bryson, our featured speaker and CEO of Bryson, I wanted to go over some brief housekeeping. Please note that this event is being recorded and will be shared to webinar attendees and made available on the Chamber's YouTube page as well. If you have questions throughout the presentation, please use the Q&A function at the bottom of your screen and Trent will answer them. Now it is my honor to introduce today's featured speaker, Trent Bryson, CEO of Bryson. Trent has established success as the head of one of Southern California's leading insurance brokerage and corporate retirement firms. After graduating from University of California at Santa Barbara, he began his career at Merrill Lynch. And in 2001, Trent rejoined Bryson with a strategic plan to improve employee benefits consulting. Trent's vision and expertise have led him to regional and national awards and recognition. Alongside his career, Trent is an adjunct professor in human resources at California State University, Long Beach, an expert contributor on KTLA News, Fox Business and Entrepreneur Media, officer of YPOOC, and political involvement committee chair for NIA, NAIFA California. So thank you so much, Trent, for joining us again today. I am going to hand it over to you. Thanks, Natalie. I appreciate uh, the introduction. Always hard with all the, the random bios that, that people put in. But thank you, everybody, for taking the time um, to meet with us today. Um, I'll, I'll try to be succinct and get, uh, provide value. Um, I'm big on not wasting anybody's time. So we'll get right into it. And uh, any questions along the way, throw it in the chat, and then we'll get to kind of Q&A at the end. A lot of questions we find that we just end up answering throughout this presentation. So as we get into it, the, the first question really becomes is is usually what is a map and, and um, what a map is is it's a retirement plan similar to a 401k that you've seen before um, but what it is is we're taking a common interest everybody here um, that is a member of the chamber and they're allowed to opt into this map as a result of that and so it's basically taking economies of scale of all the businesses in long beach and saying if we all put our monies together in a 401k plan what kind of pricing do we get? What kind of fund options do we get? And how do we get something better? And at the same time, it creates flexibility for every company to have their own. So it's kind of the best of the both worlds. Um, a lot of people say, well, why wasn't this around a lot earlier than this? Um, the tax rules around MAPS and, and really the, the DOL, Department of Labor rules, changed about two years ago that kind of opened the door for this. And so we've been creating this product and um, it's happening in Pasadena and now we just launched it in Long Beach and we're really excited for kind of the prospects of what's happening. In fact, we already have four plans that are coming over and, and getting this started. So um, the chamber is our sponsor um, of the map, which is great um, for the chamber and for all the members. It's a value added you know, benefit. I think that you're gonna see you know, some of the benefits as we move further on in the presentation. So as we get into what are the real benefits Obviously the cost savings, we're taking economies of scale and break, bring cost savings. So everything from your administrative functions and cost down to the fund cost down to the advisor compensation. Um, there's kind of cost savings um, compared to each one of the companies in the chamber operating their own plan. Um, fiduciary and administrative support. This is what actually people seem to love the most um, because you are trying to do a nice benefit for your employees. And unfortunately in the world of 401k or retirement plans, um, there's all kinds of fiduciary and administrative functions you have to do to be compliant. Um, we're off, basically offloading that from you and allowing, um, we, we kind of contracted with some providers that said, hey, here's what we're gonna do to make this as easy as possible for the chamber members. Um, creating as minimal plan maintenance as possible. And then, like I said earlier, the, the nice thing about it is it's customizable. So. 
um, you don't have to have the exact same plan as the person that's your competitor or down the street. Um, we're able to take all these as, as one master plan, but every company, it's going to say your company, what your plan design is. We can match your current plan design if you have today. We generally say when we go through plan design functions of current plans, we show them maybe some ways to do things a little bit unique and better. Um, and then also, if you're a company with over 100 employees, you are probably aware you have audit costs every year. Um, so we would be reducing the audit costs significantly. Um, and then the, the next part, which I'll get into a little bit, uh, is, is the Cal Savers too. But really, MEPS are unbundled. Um, so it's, when I say unbundled, um, it allows us to, to take all of those economies of scale of having the one plan. And at the same time, different companies can have all their own unique plans that they want. Bryson is the independent investment advisor. Um, we don't represent any specific fund company. Um, LPL is our broker dealer, which is the largest independently held broker dealer in the country. And what that means is we're not, we're not binded to a certain record keeper or a certain fund family. Um, we're just trying to, to really get what the best fund options are for our, for our employers. So if you love Vanguard, we can put Vanguard funds in. You love um, American funds, there's some of those in there too. We created a best in class fund lineup for everybody that I think is very attractive. As we go into the, the, the next part, I'm gonna kind of go through the rules and responsibilities. So Bryson is the uh, kind of the quarterback of the, of the whole deal. We're the retirement plan advisor and we're also the 338 investment fiduciary. So what that means is rather than you having to worry about selecting funds, sitting through long um, you know, investment committee meetings and having kind of that burden, we take that on for you. We, we created a best in class fund lineup and have delivered that to you. And, and when you compare that, I think every fund lineup we've ever compared against were like, you know, 100 for 100 in terms of uh, cost and, and, and fees associated and performance, which, which is really the key is, is not only what you're paying, but, you know, what's the performance like in those funds. Transamerica, a very well-known, you know, publicly traded company is a custodian of the plan assets. Um, also known as the record keeper. That's where the statements are going to come from. That's where an employee would log on to the website. Um, they would log on to the Transamerica website, um, which we've always found gives employees a little bit more comfort having a brand that they know and they've heard of and they can feel comfortable with, but they're the ones that are actually having custody of those assets. Um, Benefit Equity Inc. is a local third-party administrator. They're the ones that are helping us with plan design, um, and, and kind of the unique compliance requirements, which we'll get into. And then NPPG is that, that final piece um, that most people probably aren't used to a 316, which helps all the administrative fiduciaries um, support. And that's you know been a tough burden on employers the last several years. So that's probably something that you maybe have never seen before if you have a plan today um, that just takes all the, the mailing out to your employees and the notifications and takes that off your plate. As we go to the, the, the what is really a, a 338, um, we're going to be the relationship manager um, and the primary contact for all chamber and chamber members. Um, we've been in Long Beach for over 50 years. Um, most of our staff is actually grew up here or lives in Long Beach. Um, but Elena Ellis and her team on the retirement plan side have English and Spanish speaking capabilities to support um, all types of enrollments, um, education meetings. Uh, we'll also be doing the investment, the annual investment meetings and the compliance guidance with the chamber. Um, but that doesn't, you don't have to stress about that as a, as a plan member. Um, we're actually delivering that for you. And then we actually quarterback um, benefits equity and Transamerica and plan some, you know, do some plan design, design and consulting there. Um, what's unique is we used to own our own third party administrator. So from a plan design standpoint, um, we probably can deliver more than what you're used to seeing out of an investment advisor because we not only understand the investments but we understand how the plan design works transamerica is going to be what i talked about where the participant contributions are held um, they're going to invest the contributions into those funds um, and they're going to provide the website online access and that's who's producing the statements as we get into the next one you're going to see benefit equity they're the third party administrator that's plant that's preparing and maintaining the plan documents as we talked about Every company is really an adopter into a master plan. And with that adoption, you get the creativity to, to do different things, but it also, you have different annual compliance testing. So if you normally have really good participation with your 401k 
participants. You don't have to worry about if a different company joins, how that's going to affect your discrimination testing. You are actually tested um, independently on your own. Um, and, and BEI is the one that's preparing the annual filings and, and kind of some ongoing, more complex. Sometimes we'll have a company that's doing really well. Maybe it's a, a doctor's office or a law firm or a consulting company that has older partners that want higher uh, tax deductions. So they've come to us and said, hey, we know we can put in the 19,500 into the 401k plan, but what if we want to do more? We've been able to get people up to 200 and $300,000 deductions um, as they're later on in their career based on the ages in some of the plan design. So that's something where we would work with benefit equity on. As you go to the next one, you're going to see MPPG, which is going to be doing the, um, they're going to be working with BEI just to get rid of all the administrative liability from you. Um, so they're helping with your reporting and plan disclosures and, and all that stuff that nobody likes doing. As we get into the next one, you're going to see um, kind of the pricing. Um, and so what we did was we priced a plan as if $50 million is going to come into this plan in the first two years. Um, and so you're going to see there's different bands that you'll go down in terms of pricing. Um, and, but really the installation, $500, annual administration fees, about $800, uh, and then your, your annual participant fees. So um, really, you know, I'm shocked when we have people that come in at more than $5,000 of administrative fees, um, which is generally about the cost of having one person on health insurance for a year. Um, so for your entire company, before you put in a match or any sort of thing, the pricing is really attractive kind of across the board. If you want to do a match or get into some of the creative scenarios, we can show you how to do that um, as well and back into to what that pricing looks like. As you get into the next section, um, one of the biggest things is there's some, there's some deadlines that are happening right now. Um, September 30th of 2020, any business with 100 employees actually had to start opting in or out of the CalSavers program. Um, so we're seeing some clients that are saying, uh-oh, like, have I done this yet? Did I do this? Um, June 30th, right around the corner, gets down to businesses with 50 or more employees. And by June 30th of next year, every, almost every business in California, any business with over five employees has to have a 401k plan. Um, you can either opt into the CalSavers plan or you can have your own 401k plan. The CalSavers has some restrictions. Your uh, contribution limit's only 6,000 versus an employee being able to put in 19,500 um, plus catch up contributions if they're over 50 on the plan sponsored 401k only. Um, you have the ability to match in a 401k, not in the CalSavers plan. Um, you have us as a financial advisor that can sit down one on one with all of your employees and walk through that. Um, and then you have the ability to use vesting requirements. A lot of times when we do match, we recommend vesting um, as you're as you're in a you know tough hiring process right now and you there seems to be a lot of turnover through this pandemic what we're a lot of times trying to help employers do is be really competitive with their offering but not having to um, give some of that profit sharing or that matching monies to those that aren't sticking around very long that we understand that there's an onboarding cost to hiring there's a recruiting cost to hiring and so there's some creative ways where we can keep your employees that have been with you the longest taken care of um, and then the employer administrative, there's an opt-in, opt-out um, that we can show you how to do as well. So just some, some basic compliance things that are coming down the pipeline that you should be aware of if you're not having a plan. And even if you are having a plan, um, just being aware of how you're filing things. As we go to the next page, um, here's kind of some of the exemptions, and we're going to send this out as well. Um, but if you have a 401k, 403bs, SEP, SIMPLE, um, payroll deducted with automatic enrollment. Um, you'll just go in and you'll file for the exemption. Again, we're going to we're going to send this out after the presentation as well. So it's not like you have to to scramble to to write that down real quick. As you go to the next page um, or the next slide, um, kind of the next steps is uh, I say while it's fresh in your mind, ask questions. One in the chat, um, but also to schedule an introductory call. Myself, Elena, our entire team is happy to. To, to meet with you either Zoom um, or in person. It's great being uh, that this program's in Long Beach. You know, we have companies with plans throughout the country. Um, we're really excited about this because obviously it's, it's, it's less expensive and more efficient for us to service plans in Long Beach. And we love the fact that we get to give back in this situation. We do a lot of the nonprofits in Long Beach as well. Um, so we're happy to provide a complimentary cost comparison on services and, and fees. Um, 
and then also kind of show you what we would need. Um, to start that installation process, you'll see kind of some of the startup um, issue or, or what we would need to get started. If you already have a plan, you're just looking at a comparison and you're saying, hey, it's been three to five years since we've actually looked at our plan. How does this stack up against this new MET plan? Um, it's a little bit more of a cumbersome process um, and you'll have this here too. But I generally say before you get into this, we start with an introductory call. We, we start to go through some of your questions and, um, and, and really start to talk about your company. Um, we have kind of four main ethos at our company that I think helps out with this, which is um, first is personal touch. We really wanna understand your company and what it's gonna take to get you to the next level or to retain that top talent. The second is accountability. We believe big in, in accountability and in, in, in pro making our promises and delivering on our promises. Our third is resolution. We're big on making sure that we get things resolved, that we don't leave them out there. And then our fourth is, is intellectual capital, which is we're always trying to be cutting edge. We believe this is one of those new cutting edge things that we're bringing to the marketplace. So that's kind of the ethos of our company and how we do things. Um, the, the first question I'll get to kind of on the chat is, and then I'll get to, to the other part too, which is the membership, which is what Natalie wants to talk about as well, uh, is, you know, does the plan provide access to a dashboard for employees to keep track of their contributions and other information? Absolutely. They would go onto the Transamerica website that every single employee is going to have um, their own username and password. Our team actually walks them through setting up their username and password, and they can see um, their funds, they can transfer funds 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So it's very transparent. It's very easy for them to see. They actually choose the investments from the investment lineup. Um, how will the map impact my current plan if I have one? Um, simple. Um, it would, and what I mean by that is if you have a plan, what we do is we'd compare your current plan to the map and we'd tell you straight up, hey, this is going to be better for you or it's going to be worse for you. I'm going to say probably 99 out of 100 times, it's going to be better for you in the MEP, but we'll, and we'll show you kind of the pros and cons to both. Um, we don't just operate in the MEP world. Um, we've been the top 100 401k per, um, planners in the country for the last five years now. Um, we get nationally recognized for being in this space. So um, even if the MEP's not the right fit, we'll tell you what is the right fit, what is the right fit and how we can maybe improve your current plan. Um, you do have to be a member of the chamber. Um, so if you're not a member, I would definitely reach out to Natalie. And if you are a member, this is just a benefit that's, that's provided, you know, of no cost to you. So, um, pretty exciting. And if you know of somebody that's saying, Hey, we are considering putting in a plan. Um, I would have them reach out to Natalie, get some of the benefits of being in the chamber as well, specifically around, you know, I'd say two things on that front is one, all the HR resources that you get through being a member of the chamber, um, from notifications to your, your kind of client notices, all the way um, to really the legislative support, which I think has is, is been probably more important in the last year than we've ever seen before is who's actually fighting for the small businesses specifically in Long Beach and for our region. So I think that, you know, the, the, most of you on this call are probably in the chamber and contributing to that, but I think it's really important that we all band together and stick up for ourselves um, because that's really what's making change is, is us working in numbers. The next key question I got was, will I be able to establish my own eligibility vesting contribution pr provisions? Absolutely. That's the best part about this is we're getting the scale of a major plan but you're actually getting to create your own plan. So it's going to look and feel exactly like your own plan. It's just going to be your record keeper. If today it's mass mutual or it's empower somebody else, it would go to Transamerica. Um, it would be the fun lineup, but we're creating all of these contribution eligibility investing schedules based on your company's needs. Um, so it's got that, that flexibility to get you what you need. It's kind of the best of both worlds. Um, any other questions that anybody has? Natalie, I'll turn it back over to you. Thank you so much, Trent. Thank you for that wonderful presentation. We are so excited about this MEP program and happy to bring it to our membership. Um, like Trent said, if you have any questions or you would like to join the chamber and take advantage of this program, please let me know. My contact information is listed. I will also be sending out my contact information as well as the Bryson teams on a recap of this event. So thank you so much everyone for joining us and thank you again, Trent and the entire Bryson team. Thank you. Have a great one, everyone.